If you're a regular here at BFI Player, you'll know that a while back I introduced For Those in Peril, the astonishing feature debut from Paul Wright, who won a BAFTA for his short film Until the River Runs Red. With its evocative soundscapes and shifting visual formats, For Those in Peril established Wright as a talent to watch, a reputation which he cemented with his next feature and my BFI Player choice this week, Arcadia. This is the Britain we have all inherited. A land of incomparable beauty. a century of archival footage, Arcadia, the title of which is laced with irony, explores the changing relationship between us and the land on which we live, and with each other. With wit, flair, and a touch of horror, it unpicks the strange rituals of the Britain we have all inherited, a bucolic picture postcard image of Blighty, beneath which right on Earth's a history of classism, racism, trance dancing, hunting, industrialization, and exotic pagan weirdness. It's a headily intoxicating affair, conjuring a portrait of Britain that is sometimes nostalgic, sometimes nightmarish. Texturally, there are similarities with the work of Andrew Cotting, a selection of whose films you can also find here on BFI Player. Like Cotting, Wright invests his film with an air of magic, an incantatory quality that can be both sensual and alarming. I also saw connections with the collage works of Derek Jarman and Julian Temple and found myself thinking that this would make a very interesting double bill with Cornish filmmaker Mark Jenkins' bait. An energising score by Adrian Utley and Will Gregory completes the picture, interweaving with voices that bizarrely evoke the poetry of John Clare or the psychogeography of W.G. Seabold, all asking the question, what is this land? <laughs> 